Hello and welcome, this time for yet another version of an analog digital converter. This time we're talking about a compensating variant. Let's start again with our common part, yeah? so that there is a counter. Counter, then there is the memory. There's a display. This is what we said is always the same. Now, the counter needs some ticks to count. Needs a clock. So there is again the impulse generator here. Throw it now on this side. Here we have the impulses, which will be transferred to the counter. Okay. But now, not only the counter value is given into the memory. Now we also have a digital analog converter. So there is a DA converter. And this counter value here is also transferred to the digital analog converter. Here make an end uh, to block, to be able to also block the uh, signal. And what comes out here is a comparison voltage. Uh, so I will again use a comparator. And I compare this voltage to my input voltage. Here we are. If this voltage is bigger than this, we have here a 1. So we need to stop this. If you're not having a 1, yeah? Then this end shall do its work. And there is also something which must control and reset. Control and reset logic, which will reset the counter to zero. It also needs this signal from the comparator. Okay. So basically, this is how this looks like. Okay. So, what does it do? As long, here we have the comparator voltage. As long as the input voltage is bigger than the comparator voltage, I have here zero. Huh? So the counter will start to count. Tuk, 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 tuk. The counter value will increase, the comparator voltage will increase. Comparator voltage is getting bigger, 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 and at a certain point in time, this will be bigger than this. At exactly this point in time, the counter has the right value. Yeah? So we distinguish this because here we're getting one, the control and reset logic will copy the counter value to the memory also, the counter will, counting will be stopped also, that there is no strange situation, yeah, timing issues or something like this. The counting will be stopped also. So, and then the counter will be reset to zero. And then we have again the situation that UI is bigger than UK and the counter will 
count upwards. Okay, so it doesn't really matter how fast this contour and reset action takes place because we would stop the counting anyway. That's one method. As soon as we reach the correct counter value, we already reset. Okay, compensation variant. The counter value is compensating the input value. As long as they both are equal or slightly bigger, then we're there. The disadvantage is that we only reset the counter. Okay, we started at zero. Does not really matter if UI is very big, let's call it, relatively big. Then the counter must run from zero to a big value, and this takes time. We're saving the time that the counter is, that doesn't need to run far beyond this value, yeah? like in this uh, sawtooth variant. But here we are, uh, we are still wasting a little bit of time because we always start at zero. Yeah? At small values, not that much time is wasted. Big values, quite a bigger time will share. Is simply wasted. So, yeah, that's it for comparison variant. Next time we will also try to overcome the last mentioned disadvantage of this thing. Yeah, we'll do an approximation how this is working. We will see in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.